It can happen very rarely that a stationer's safe game breaks, uh, but they are also very easy to repair. So I want to show you how. Um, if you're lucky, your safe game is still listed, so you just click on it. On, on the right you see the history of saves of this world, and then you can just select an older entry. Maybe not the second to uh, the top, but third or fourth. And then you will see, ah, oh, it works, okay, everything's fine. And then you can just play normally and save and everything. Uh, but your safe game is probably not listed if you ended up watching this video or maybe all your safe games are not listed um, Even though you have safe games in your safe games folder there's stuff and So why, why is station is not listing them because um, One of them is broken and station years for some reason gets confused and doesn't show you the rest that has happened in the past I'm not sure if they fixed that um, or just your own safe game is not shown. You can see here, Mars Bunker is not listed. Um, uh, let's deal with two cases. One, you know already which save game is balked. That's this one in this case. Let's look here. Okay, that's what it looks like, very cryptic. Let's look at a different one, or at a different one, or at a different one. They all look the same. One, two, three, four, five files, and then we have a backup folder. Hey, wait, this one looks different. What's going on? Temp, 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 screenshot preview. World, 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 screenshot preview. Uh, but sometimes your save game might be broken even though even though it looks normal, like this one. Just here we can also already derive, yeah, the save game was in the process of being saved and then, I don't know, stationers froze or crashed or whatever, and that's the reason then. Well, what you can do is, you go into your backup folder, which might look like this, and then you, order, uh, you sort those files by date modified, so you get the newest ones at the top. And then you will see, again, you have this combination of five files. World, 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 preview, screenshot. Already tells you where we're, where we're heading here, right? Uh, this is exactly the same stuff that you have here. It's not altered, there's not a little word written in there that says, This is only a backup, I won't work if switched to live. No, you can just switch them to this um, current version, to the current location, and then it'll work. First, make a backup of the save game somewhere else on your computer, certainly not in this folder, you know why. <laughs> um, and uh, now I will just... Um, well, let's go here and let's take the newest save the uh, newest backups and this must actually also be broken because um, when you create a new world in station years and then you uh, save or you know then uh, you will already have these main files and the backup files I'm not sure but it might be that these files are always identical with the newest set here so uh, maybe you have to choose the second newest but anyway okay let's choose a set one two three four five I will copy them over now things get a bit chaotic, but you can use date modified to solve this, so you know which which names to use. Oh, that was a bad example because um, because these are named wrong. Yeah, okay, let's uh, undo the copying. It's best to delete these, copy these over, or the second newest, who knows, and then we rename them to what they need to be named. Certainly, they need to not uh, the name autosave is uh, improper. They need to be named preview, screenshot, world, world, world meta. So, preview, screenshot, world, world, world meta. And that's already it. Now you can. Um, Look in the save games list in Station News, it will be listed again and you can load the game and everything continues uh, as it was. And then you're fine. It's really that simple. You just take a backup save game, put it here and make sure that, you know... Um, okay, let's say... Um, I'm not sure if Station News will actually analyze these files when it tries to list the save games. Because maybe when it does that and one of these is broken, that might also then be a problem. So you might have to go a bit more sophisticated. You might have to say, uh, maybe oh, delete the first one or two sets and use the third set here and copy it over here. But that's generally the approach. That's what you have to do. Use one of the backups, put them here, name them properly and make sure that there's no balked stuff in here. So what if uh, your um, safe games uh, are not listed at all? What if this list is completely empty? 
even though you have safe gaps. Then you go here into in your uh, station near safe folder, wherever that's located on your machine. You have to Google that, I guess. And uh, then you rename your safe folder to something else, like this, for example. And uh, then you start the program again. And it will create a new saves folder and you make a new world and play and see oh everything's fine I can load the world it's listed everything's fine so what's with these save games then then you go here and you sort them by date modified you scroll down to the bottom and uh, you uh, copy everything uh, not copy you move everything because it's non-destructive you can just move and everything but the newest one or the second to newest one depending on how suspicious you are and uh, you move them over to your actual saves folder, which might take a while. And uh, then you load up station use again, or you look in this, uh, you try to load a save game, and then you will see everything's listed again. Because the reason that something was not listed is no longer there, which is one so, uh, considerably broken save game. But that's no longer there, that reason. Uh, and um, then you have found the culprit. And then you can use everything normally, and then you can s re repair that one save game like I showed you. And if there's no repair rule, well, that might also be the case, then, uh, well, then you're fucked. <laughs> um, so that's that. Now, uh, I also want to go into some details of the date of the files themselves. So that's not important for you if you just wanted to know how to repair them and, you know, so just move on with your life. Um, so let's look at these five files. We have a preview file, and then we have the world bin, world XML, and world meta. If you look in the world uh, meta file, you will see a short file which has this format. It's very easy to recognize. You see these pairs here, and it, this looks proper, doesn't it? And let's look here. This has a similar structure. Let's look at the bottom. See, when you save a a file with your computer, it might happen that it isn't saved co completely. I mean, it depends on how sophisticated the programmers are, because you can certainly make that happen in a way that it would either work or it won't work. But if in a, in a bad implementation, you might get something that is, I don't know, cut off at some point. And if your file ends here, then whoops, there's some, probably something off. But if it looks kind of symmetric, like everything seems to be fine, then, uh, oops, then. Uh, that's probably the case. Then we have the word bin file. It's a binary file because that's the word itself. That's when you go out there and mine and there's too much stuff to put in the text file. I mean, this file in the form of a text file will prob probably be 100 megabytes or more. So they put that here in the form of binary. Uh, I will open that with a hex editor. You, I recommend HXD. HXD is a very good hex editor. It's free and uh, I've used it for years also professionally at work. Um, when we look at this, uh, it would always look like this. Always the same structure. I mean, you can certainly spot a pattern here, right? And if you scroll to the very bottom, the pattern changes. Oh, uh, wait. Here, la 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 la, and pfft, this. These are, I guess, placeholders to get to uh, some kind of rounded block size, and this would then be filled up with world data, and when that overflows, then the next such block would begin, and so forth. So how long this is at your, in the end of your, uh, of your world bin will be different every time. But it should be very short, uh, if you're unlucky, who knows. But anyway, if you see such a thing at the end, then you can assume, okay, this file is also um, complete. And I had um, a friend on uh, on the Discord forums. Uh, I played with them, and their uh, PSU, the power supply of their of their PC, crapped out. And then the save game that we were playing no longer worked. So I had him send it over to me. And then I looked at this file, and I saw I saw this, but it wasn't the structure. It was all zero zero zero. It was empty. So when the computer woke up again, it saw oh I wrote some file there and tried to repair that, but what resulted were only zeros. So the file was balked. So I could spot it was broken. Now you've learned a bit about how to spot uh, that a file might be broken, but again, you don't really need that. Try to determine which of your save games is broken, and um, then try to repair it using a backup, probably not the newest backup. And hey, uh, in the example of the PSU, which I just described, where everything was zero, also the newest one here had the same problem. The world bin was also completely uh, empty, and I think the uh, XML files here had zero bytes size, so that's that's something to consider.
See, but overall, uh, I mean, with these few concepts in mind, it's not that complicated. And then you can return to what you have been working on for a hundred hours. You're welcome. <laughs>